Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I begin in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. My name is Zainab, C-A-I-N-A-B, Jodhri, C-H-A-U-D-R-Y. I am a spokeswoman for the Council on American Islam uh, Islamic Relations, the nation's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization. Uh, we have uh, called this news conference uh, in partnership with Sunni and Shia leaders in the DMV area uh, to offer reaction to uh, the tragic uh, killings of four brothers in Albuquerque, New Mexico, um, and also to offer reaction to the news of a suspect uh, that is in custody and to uh, express a message of solidarity, a strong solidarity within the Shia and Muslim communities uh, across the country. Uh, so without further ado, we will go ahead and introduce our first speaker, uh, Brother Nihad Dawad, who is the National Executive Director of CARE here in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Zainab. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be with you. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Nihad Awad, N-I-H-A-D, A-W-A-D, National Executive Director of CARE, Council on American Islamic Relations. First of all, I would like to thank um, our um, community leaders uh, from uh, both the Sunni and Shia traditions here uh, to come uh, in a sense of unity uh, to issue a, a statement of solidarity, a statement of unity, uh, based on the events that we have witnessed in the past few days. So allow me first to express our sincere condolences to the families of the victims, the four victims who have been killed senselessly since last year, and three of them were killed just in the past few days. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God the Almighty, to bless their souls and to reward them and to grant them the highest place in paradise. And we pray to God the Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to comfort their families and their loved ones and their relatives. I understand that one of the relatives of the victims is here with us uh, today, so we offer him condolences on behalf of all of us and to his family. There is no justification for these brutal crimes that have terrified us and terrified the community and the city and, and the whole nation. Today, we witnessed a breakthrough because of the heroic work and efforts of the local, state, and federal agencies. A suspect has been arrested, and I hope that our community can breathe a sigh of relief and be assured about its safety and security that the main suspect has been put behind bars and that's where he belongs. We thank the leadership of the governor, the mayor, the FBI, and the district attorney office for not saving any effort to take on tips and assure the community that they will do all they can to bring, to bring the perpetrator, inshallah, uh, God willing, to justice. Our community and the city have been terrified, and they lived a nightmare. And those families who, love, who lost their loved ones will continue to live this nightmare because of their loss. So the impact is so deep on our community and those families. A final note. We have seen reports and we will see some speculations about the motives of the perpetrator of these crimes. There is no justification for this evil. There is no justification to take an innocent life. In our faith, the taking of an innocent life is equivalent to the taking of the lives of the entire humanity. And that's what this perpetrator did. There is no way to explain, justify this deranged behavior. And we as a community, regardless of our backgrounds, we are united against hate and violence, against innocent people's lives taking brutally the way they were, and regardless of the identity of the perpetrator or the identity of the victims. We're all united, 
by our faith which reminds us every day that truly the believers are one brotherhood I urge myself and all of us to keep that in mind that our community is solid our community is strong our community is united and our community will continue to show responsible leadership and love to one another thank you our next speaker will be brother abba the youth from the arab american anti-discrimination committee Assalamualaikum. Good evening and thank you, CARE, for hosting and for the swift response uh, and leadership that you've shown and others have shown uh, through this ordeal. Um, you know, and also our condolences to the families, um, and to their friends and to the victims, you know, the, the friends and family uh, of the victims. Uh, you know, as, as Brother Nihad said, the, this is a, a very unfortunate uh, set of circumstances we are coming together. And, uh, I really didn't prepare uh, a speech or I didn't prepare uh, words to say uh, because it's difficult to do so. Uh, the community is facing uh, a challenge and this is something that's definitely uh, one of the darker, um, you know, sit darker moments we've had uh, in recent years. Uh, but any attempt uh, to divide the community, any attempt to cause friction in the community uh, will fail. Uh, and my personal belief is the community is going to come out of this uh, much stronger and i think we all have a duty we all have an obligation uh, to stress uh, uh, unity to stress uh, the, the work together we are one body uh, we are one community and again any attempt to do so any attempt to cause a wedge or divide or to spread hate will not be tolerated and will not succeed um, we commend the job of uh, the job done by law enforcement on a federal level, local and state level, uh, as well as by the elected officials uh, in New Mexico to help bring uh, justice to the victims. Uh, the investigation is just starting. There will be some things that come out, some things that said that again may be intended to cause a wedge, um, but we are going to rise above that. We're going to come out stronger uh, and we're going to come out uh, as one community, as one whole community. Uh, and I can assure you that um, all of us up here are committed to standing against hate uh, and against bigotry regardless of who it's impacting and regardless of the beliefs. So again, thank you, Niha. Thank you, Care, for the actions you've taken. Uh, and thank you for the organizations up here, Shia Rights Watch and the others as well, uh, for what you've done. Uh, and thank you. Thank you, Abed. My name is Robert McCaw. I'm CARES National Government Affairs Director. Sister Zainab had to step out for an interview, so I'll be introducing the next speakers. Our next speaker is Hassan uh, Shahalami, who is the brother-in-law of the victim, Naeem Hussein. Uh, please take the podium. Bismillah um, ar-Rahman um, ar-Rahim. As a member, a family member of the victim, victim Naeem Hussein, um, who we dearly loved for his generosity, his kindness, and uh, his ability to bring uh, uh, Shia and Sunni. I actually had multiple different conversations with him, and he was very indifferent to the whole Shia-Sunni divide or anything. Um, he said his, always his saying was, we're all brothers. And today we lost a generous, kind, giving, forgiving, um, and loving soul that has been taken away from us forever from our family um, and I pray that we all get patience and sabr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, I pray for all the families of the victims that have lost uh, their loved ones due to this heinous unthoughtful and evil act and as far as our community, I would like to say that this is the time that we all need to put our hands together, join each other, show compassion, show what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has taught us to be. So let's be brothers, let's go through this turmoil together. Thank you. Thank you very much for those heartfelt words. Our next speaker is Imam Johari Abdul Malik. 
and he is a member of the CARE National Board and a local faith leader. Mom? Uh, Imam Johari Abdul Malik, I am A M J O H A R I A B D U L hyphen M A L I K. Beginning with Bismillah Rahman Rahim, thanking God Almighty for having gathered us at this very difficult moment. And on behalf of the CARE National Board, we'd like to extend our sincerest uh, condolences to the family and to the community, alhamdulillah. In this moment of loss, we're reminded by the Quran that life is sacred, that all life is sacred. The Old Testament tells us, as the Quran invites us, that to take the life of one person unjustly would be as if you had slain all of humanity. And so as people of faith, we stand together to send a simple, clear, and undisputable reference. And that is that violence and hate knows no religion that we must, as a community, redouble our efforts to come together, to stay together, to establish what is good and prohibit what is evil. Know that CARE remains committed to work for freedom, religious freedom in America, justice, and better understanding. And so today we ask for God's mercy and peace on this community, especially in Albuquerque, suffering from the trauma of this event, and know that in this nation that we are a nation under God, that we will be indivisible, and that we can stand together, and with CARE's leadership around the country, we will stand to support law enforcement as they do the work to identify individuals who are trying to resist the freedom of expression of faith in our country. To that I ask you all to say amen. Thank you very much, Imam. Our next speaker is Imam Farhan Siddiqui. He is with the Dar al Hijra Mosque in Northern Virginia. Imam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyid al-Anbiya wa mursaleen. Nabiyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amma ba'd. First, we would like to thank CARE for hosting this conference. Uh, the law enforcement agents that were involved in the apprehension of this rogue suspect and we would like to send our condolences and prayers to the family of those individuals who have passed. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower them in his mercy. Being a representative of one of the most diverse communities probably in the entire nation, it is not strange to work with different brothers and different sisters from different backgrounds and different ethnicities and even different theological schools. And part of our community is the Shia community. And even in this catastrophe, and even in this calamity, if we look around, there is and there will always be signs of success. And part of that success is the fact that we are all standing here together, the fact that we all stand for each other, the fact that every time there is a calamity, that true brotherhood is actually shown. And when Allah tells us, when God tells us that the Muslims are a brotherhood, Part of that brotherhood is understanding and showing empathy when one of ours has fallen. And these rogue actors will never be empowered by us. These rogue actors will forever be condemned by us. And these rogue actors will forever be shunned by our communities. I thank God. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is the one that has given us this religion, that he is the one that has brought us together, and he is the one that will continue to keep us together upon this path. And may he, Azza wa Jal, protect us, protect our families, and may he again shower his mercy on those who have passed and give patience to the family that has lost them. Ameen. Thank you for those words. Next, I'll be introducing uh, Rahat Hussein with the Shia Muslim Foundation. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rahat Hussein. I'm with the Shia Muslim Foundation. And uh, the first thing I want to do is offer my condolences and the condolences of the entire Muslim community, the Shia community in particular, on the deaths of these innocent individuals. Uh, this has been a tragic and horrifying time for all of us. Uh, 
and we are thankful to the state and federal law enforcement authorities for uh, conducting the investigation swiftly and bringing the attacker to justice. Uh, this has been an issue that uh, has, has horrified the entire country, uh, regardless of race and religion. And uh, we really wish that all of our community come together, Sunni, Shia, everyone come together. Because in the words of Atlas Sistani, it's not enough for us to call each other brothers. Brothers implies a little bit of distance. We should call each other ourselves. Uh, and that kind of sentiment, that mission, that, that, that idea that Sunni and Shia aren't even separate, that we're one community, uh, has been echoed by the other respected speakers tonight, and, and it's one that I, I wish to echo. Um, you know, we, we commend um, CARE for uh, their statement earlier today that uh, this is uh, an incident of anti-Shia hatred, and it's something that we all have to work to, to address in our communities. Uh, overall, Sunnis and Shias enjoy a, a great modicum of friendship and love amongst each other, especially in the United States. In fact, the United States is a model community wherein Shias and Sunnis will get together on religious events, on weddings, social events. Uh, we really care for each other and love each other in a very special way that isn't always seen around the world, but the, the U.S. community is a model for that. Uh, and we cannot let this incident or any other incident harm or destroy that love and that respect that we have for one another. Uh, in the words of Imam Ali, people are either your brothers in, in faith or your equals in humanity. And we have to abide by this lesson in how we treat one another. At the same time, it is important for us to address issues of, of radicalism or anti-Shia hatred or other types of statements or remarks that are made by others and really attack them and show the world that these statements, these ideas, have no place in our community. Uh, I close with a statement from the Quran. O mankind, we have created you from males and females and made you peoples and tribes so that you may know one another. Uh, in that spirit, I encourage the Shia and Sunni communities to get to know each other more and together we can build a more harmonious, harmonious society that is safer for all of us. Thank you. Thank you for those words. Next, we'll be joined by Mustafa Akwand with the Shia Rights Watch. Thank you very much. My name is Mustafa Akwand. I'm a director of Shia Rights Watch. I just want to emphasize on the quote that uh, Brother Rahat said. Uh, Imam Ali salam said, people are uh, your brother and sister uh, in faith or equal in humanity. Right now, at this moment, we have to put aside our emotion and work together to bring the peace in our society. We are living in the country with a multi-religion, multi-culture, and every one of us showing peace and love together. And let's keep that peace and love and work together to be able to have a better society. I would, I would like to thank the governor of uh, Albuquerque, in, in New Mexico, and the authorities for sh showing their support and prompt response toward this action and uh, preventing the more death in our community. And I would like to thank CARE and the uh, Shia communities and the uh, Sunni communities to get in together, especially uh, ADC and American uh, Muslim Bar Association, to being there and talking to the communities and bringing the peace. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now for closing remarks, I'll give the podium back to Brother Nihad Awad, CARES National Executive Director. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. And uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for all of you, for your uh, words of inspiration, words of wisdom, words of solidarity, and words of comfort. Um, let me just say that uh, uh, this news conference was put together on a very, very, very short notice. We invited uh, several community leaders uh, to come, but because of the distance, uh, many of them could not come. Uh, I uh, trust that all the words that have been said here are reflective of their feelings, their positions, and um, uh, as we said, God willing, inshallah, we will see them in a more and happier uh, occasions uh, to get together. And finally, we hope and pray uh, 
uh, for the souls of those who have who, who, who perished unjustly by this senseless act and we hope that our community will stay strong and united both locally and beyond and if there is anything that we can do or say to keep this goal in our mind we are here at your service and your disposal we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God the Almighty to strengthen our community to strengthen our society to strengthen our families and our nation and our Lord to stay on the right path of justice and dignity for all. Assalamu alaikum.